Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So today I'm super stoked to get to show you guys the highly anticipated Thermaworks Billows. So what this guy is, is a fan controller that is going to work with the Thermaworks Signals, uh, which is a four channel wireless monitoring device. Now I did a, a in-depth review of that. You can click on the little I card above. Uh, you'll want to go check out that video first um, since it, the Billows only works with that. But essentially this is similar to other fan controllers out there on the market. People have been asking Thermaworks for many years, including myself, to put a, a fan uh, out there uh, in their lineup to you know work with one of their other products and so they, they have as usual it's got an amazing build quality this thing is a 46 cubic feet per minute fan which is just massive it's bigger than I think any other controller out there right now in the market so I'm gonna walk you through real quickly kind of how to hook this thing up to the signals and then we're gonna go outside and take a look at how we uh, hook it up to my Kamado Joe Big Joe uh, ceramic Kamado and uh, and check it out so let's go ahead and get started all right guys let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the billows here so I did receive a somewhat earlier release uh, demo unit here to kind of test out and provide feedback so it didn't come in the original packaging that they're going to come from when you order one uh, so that's the only reason why you're not seeing me do my typical unboxing that i like to do but this is the unit and it's pretty straightforward comes in this nice kind of charcoal gray color uh, you've got this uh, spring this kind of loaded spring that's what's going to be used to uh, get this thing to connect to your adapter i'm going to show you guys how this works on my uh, Kamado Joe Big Joe in just a little bit and then over here it comes with this little kind of silicone fan plug so you take that off and and there's the fan and um, <clears throat> you know I would recommend when not using it keeping this thing on just so debris and dust and stuff like that uh, doesn't get up in there uh, but also if you're for whatever reason if you keep this uh, connected to your your cooker and you're trying, you know, you're done cooking and you're, you want to kill the fire, you can put this over so no more airflow is getting in there and it'll kind of snuff the fire out. Um, my suggestion would be whenever you're done, always just a nice piece of equipment like this, just take it off and, uh, you know, store it indoors. All right, these are a couple adapter plates that uh, they sent as well. I'm not 100% sure if if you're going to have to purchase these separately or if they're going to come with the unit. Uh, so this guy over here is going to fit your larger size Kamados and this one's going to fit uh, kind of the, the medium to large size. This one right here fits my Kamado Joe, Big Joe perfectly. And uh, like I was saying earlier, I'm going to show you how to attach the billows to this outside in just a little bit. Okay, so this is the splitter that comes with the billows. I'm going to show you how you kind of hook this up on the left. You can see that's where you're going to plug the billows in on the fan side. And then on the right is where you're going to plug in your uh, AC adapter that originally came with uh, your signals. Okay, so your billows comes with an extra USB-C uh, cable. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to plug it into the fan slot just like that. And then your AC adapter that originally came with your signals, you're just now gonna plug that into the power side. So you've essentially got your billows hooked up to this and then your AC hooked up to this. And then you just take the other end of your billows cable and hook that in down there on the bottom. And then we just take the end of our splitter here and then just hook that into our signals just like that on the bottom. Okay, so quick little recap. So your billows is going to the splitter, your AC is going to the splitter, and then that goes into your signals. So pretty simple setup. All right, so you're gonna notice right here on channel four, 
You've got a little fan looking icon and it says set temp next to it. You will not see that if you have not done a firmware update on the signals. So what you need to do is make sure you have the most recent version of the Thermaworks app. And when you connect your signals to it, it's going to tell you there's a firmware upgrade. And once you do, if you have the billows, uh, connected to your signals via the adapter like I just showed you. When it's plugged in, you're gonna see uh, the fan icon. Now, I'm gonna go ahead just to show you what happens if I disconnect the, the uh, billows. So you'll notice that the fan icon disappeared and it's back to operating just like the other three channels where you can monitor high and low temps of uh, you know your pit or your probe and then I'll plug it back in and just that quick it switches right back to fan mode and before we go outside I am going to show you how you can set the temp either on the signals or the app so if you're gonna um, just set it right here on the signals you're just gonna hit channel four times until it gets over here to channel four. So you see that channel four is now flashing. And then if you hit set, it's gonna to go to your alarm setting first. So if you wanna turn that off or on, and then you hit it again, and now the temp of your pit is flashing. And so you know I can drop that down to 225, wherever you want, and just hit set again. All right, so here's how you can adjust the temp via the app. So we're looking at channel four, and you see the little fan icon here. So you just click right on the fan icon, and you can just set your temp here, and say set, and that's all you gotta do. All right, so here's the billows. I already had it hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you. I'm gonna slide it out, and so this is one of the little adapter plates right here that you'll get with it. So it's gonna fit your, um, you know, any of your Kamados out there. Uh, again, this is the Kamado Joe, uh, Big Joe. So uh, basically, this is just a, uh, this spring right here, it's, it's, it's got a lot of tension on it, so be careful. I've actually caught my fingers a couple times when I was first playing around with it, but this nice kind of cushy gasket, and so you're just gonna take this and I just get one side of it and then the other side and it just pops straight in. You got a nice snug fit on it. So nice design. All right, so here's a nice little close up shot. Uh, you may or may not be able to see the fan running there, but this fan is an absolute beast. And one of the things that's pretty interesting about it is though it's a much stronger fan than some of the other ones out there on the market is it actually is incredibly quiet I'm not sure if you can hear it running uh, so a lot of power there for very little noise okay a quick shot here so what I did just to kind of demonstrate how powerful this fan is is I had it on 225 and I pushed the signals up to 270 and that was literally about a minute ago, maybe two minutes ago. All I had to do is just switch my camera angle here. And um, I mean, we're already at 260, uh, from 225 to 260 in about two, maybe three minutes. So you can see how fast uh, the temp climbed on that. And I've been kind of playing around with it all morning before I started filming. And um, I mean, man, you just set the temp and the fan just gets to work and will get you to temp in a matter of minutes. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up short and sweet. You can see how easy it is to hook the billows up and get up and running with it. Uh, like I said earlier, I was really impressed with how powerful the fan is and just how quick you're gonna be able to control your temperature on your pit. And uh, again, I love Thermoworks products. I've been using uh, their products for many years. The build quality is just phenomenal. Uh, I've got a link in the video description where you can go check it out. Hit me up with a like or subscribe uh, on this video uh, if you like what you saw. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you again soon.